girl. You want to hear a girl's song? Yeah! yeah I want to hear a girl's story first. Yeah. Oh man, these were the days. This was growing up. This was so much fun. We, uh, we were on the same label as Ozzy. Ozzy had just left Black Sabbath and he uh, put out his new record. And he was managed by Don Arden, who also managed Girl. He was on Jet Records. And uh, we're at a party with Ozzy and, and he's out of his fucking mind. And Sharon's chasing him all around the place, making sure that he doesn't get high. And uh, he comes up to me, oh, 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 give us a f I need a fucking gram of coke. Can you give me a fucking gram of coke? And I was like, yeah, 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 I'll get you a gram of coke. No problem, Ozzy. You got any dough? He goes, I've got the fucking dough. And he says, so I will give us 60 quid and I'll go get you a gram of coke. So he, so he gives me 60 quid. So me and, me and Phil Collins, we go down to the, the chemist and we buy a, a couple of aspirin. And we was just chopping it up, like grinding it up into this little powder. And we make this most immaculate little, you know, how you used to, the little foldy origami cocaine packets. And there you go, Ozzy. Grabbed it. And we come, go to the bathroom and he runs into the bathroom and we're like with him. And he, uh, and we're just like, are we gonna, we go, nice, I'm the fucking rock star here. <laughs> so he locked himself in the, in, in the toilet and he, and he sniffed the whole fucking lot and he came out, it was all over his face. It was fantastic. And he walked out and Sharon was like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> True story. Anyway, and this is a girl's song, it's called My Number. Oh, my God. 